Watch what happens when I breathe into this. Check that out. Let's talk about what happened to the color. So this water has phenolphthalein in it. Phenolphthalein is a pH indicator. It's one of those molecules that can like change its color depending upon how much acid or base is around. So if I add a little bit of this sodium hydroxide water, a base, that's gonna change it back to pink. Check it out, such a beautiful future color. My breath though has carbon dioxide in it. So when I breathe into this water, the water is gonna react with that carbon dioxide, right? Where the oxygen is gonna try and make a bond with that carbon and then you're gonna shuffle some atoms around and you're gonna end up with carbonic acid. So the carbonic acid now is gonna go on and react with the sodium hydroxide, the lye put in the water earlier. But once all of that is used up, then it goes on to react with the pink form of phenolphthalein, which has this one spot that can take an acidic proton. So it's gonna grab that from carbonic acid and turn into the colorless phenolphthalein. And that's where the color goes. So carbon dioxide mixes with water, reacts, forms carbonic acid. Carbonic acid goes on to react with other things in that water. And this, is how and why ocean acidification is a problem. As more carbon dioxide ends up in our atmosphere from human activity and businesses and the like, what's called anthropogenic carbon dioxide, more of it ends up in the ocean, which means more carbonic acid forms. And that carbonic acid goes on to dissolve seashells, disrupt the formation of coral reefs, and generally speaking, just be a problem for life forms all along the food chain. I'm pretty sure most people get that part of why ocean acidification is a problem, but I'm hoping this helps you understand a little bit about how it actually works. So as always, throw your follow-up questions in the comments. I look forward to them. I thank you so much for watching till the end. And until next time, it's Kim Thug.